Hey guys, Cloud Wolf here, and welcome back to the Command Block Academy. Today we're going to be going over Chapter 3, and it's called Titles and Sign Data. So we're going to get right into it. So first off, what are titles? So titles are basically just an easier way to draw attention to information, just like with Tell Raw. It's just uh, a fancy way to show players what to uh, what to look at or have information for them to read, except this one appears bigger and it's a lot flashier and people will see it a lot easier. And I use these for like introducing a level and a lot of people use this to introduce a level and uh, also for say credits or whatnot or the, the title of a map, just appear the title. So uh, now we're gonna go over how to like make titles. So like at this, just like with the tell raw command, you're gonna go to a website and it's minecraftjson.com dot and it has right here on the top where it says tell raw and it's green you just click title and it changes the command for you and it sets it up so you can make a title so uh, now you're just going to click add text and type in things as usual for this we're going to type in alert like that and i'll add an exclamation point and make it red and click add text then you're going to copy this command and then paste it into either a command block or your chat and just check it out. It says alert. And notice how long it took to come in, how it did a fade in, and how long it stayed, and how long it stayed out. So the a time that it appears inside and out it is controllable. You can control it with a command, another part of the title command, and it's title times. So now we're going to try using title times. So we're going to do slash title at a times 50 150 so now what this means is that for 50 ticks it will take 50 ticks for the text to fade in 100 ticks for the text to stay and another 50 ticks for it to leave ticks for it to leave so uh, you can't really type in seconds because the game works in ticks so what is a tick this is just a little sub part but a tick is one tick is equal to 20 seconds so this is saying that it will take 2.5 seconds because 20 goes into 52.5 times uh, and then this one then it will stay for five seconds and leave in 2.5 seconds uh, so using this you can kind of manipulate how fast it goes and if you want something to just flash real quick you can do just like that um, as for the subtitles they're the same as the title just go back to the uh, website here click subtitle instead and this time, what we're going to do is we're going to put like, this is an emergency. Okay. And all you have to do to make the subtitle and the title play is you get your subtitle command. And let me just save this command here, put in the title command. Then you get your subtitle command, copy and paste this, put another command block, paste it in. There you go. Now you get your times command, take this, copy and paste it in there, then you hook it all up with redstone, and I'm assuming if you're watching this you probably know how at least the basics of how redstone works. But anyway, so you hook that up, and you power it, and you can see it's taken about two seconds for it to come in, it'll stay for about five seconds, and it'll take about two seconds to leave uh, once it starts to fade out. So that's how you manipulate that, and that's the basics. That's all you can really do with title. Uh, you can't really do anything else with the title command, uh, except for just display text. So now we're going to move on to um, signs. So most people just use signs, or they'll use tell raw, but signs are really useful because you can have the information display there. You don't have to use a command to display it, and the players can read it as soon as they get to it, instead of having to trigger it when they get to certain places. And you can also add color, which not everybody knows. So for the signs, we have a new website, and this website is called my is at minecraft.tools slash en slash sign dot php. And I didn't have the website pulled up, but sorry about that. Anyway, so when you get on the website, there it's really good. This website is what I use. The other website has a, a sign generator, but it doesn't work for command commands Minecraft to run when the player clicks the sign. So on this website, you have this giant board, and what you can do with the board is you can write what you want on it. So you can change the color like so. You can click green and put uh, uh, click me, then highlight the text, make it green, make hit enter, then type some more stuff. You can do multiple colors too. Click it. Okay. Now what you want to do is try typing in this little box here, say slash say, at a, I clicked 
a sign. So now you click go down here and you don't have to really bother about this and click preview if you want to see what it looks like you can click generate to get the command. Then it will have the give command and the command to modify existing signs. Copy this give command, go back into your world, paste the command block because it's really long, select needs redstone to active and you'll get a sign in your inventory and when you place it it has all the stuff you need. So if you right click it it says in the chat here cloud wolf I clicked a sign. Okay so um, that's how you create these signs and you can put any command in there and also you also have to note that you can also use the block data so if I have a sign already here like so you can just copy the block data into it like so delete this unpower that power it and it will change the sign for you and that can be useful for a number of different things uh, and that's about it for this chapter. Not too hard of a concept to under explain and to understand because it's basically just a bunch of generators that are useful. Uh, def just because it wasn't hard doesn't mean that it's not useful. This is a very useful uh, tool and you need it for map making uh, all the time. I use them, these tools all the time. Anyway, so like in conclusion, the Telraw and the Say are useful for displaying information. There are other alternative methods that both capture the player's attention and are stationary awaiting their activation. So now we are moving on to the practice problems, which is just what I'll do after this. So if you want to work on the practice problems and try solving them right now, pause the video and come back for the solutions. Otherwise, I'm just going to go over the solutions right now. Okay, so the first question says create, the first problem says create a title displaying alert uh, in red with a subtitle of attention in dark red, then make it fade in for one second, display two seconds, then fade out for one second. So we did this earlier. Let's go to minecraftjson.com. Okay, we did this earlier and I'll do it again just so that for the sake of covering it. So we have the subtitle already and I'm just going to do this as a version see it does not really matter. Then we're going to go to title. We're going to do alert. Make this one red. Like so. Copy and paste it. Just like that. And then we're going to do slash title at a times. Then it says make it fade in for one second. So one second is 20 ticks. So 20 ticks. Stay for two seconds. So 20 times two is 40. And fade out in one second. Then connect it all, power it. And we have alert. Like so. And that is the answer to the first question. Now on to the second question, which is create a sign which says click me. Then on the next line, four more. Uh, once clicked, display you have found more in the chat. So this is kind of like what we did previously with this, except it just has stuff. Click me for more. And then slash say you have found more in the chat. And then copy. Then we're going to generate the command. Copy it. Paste it it down, test it, and it says you have found more. So we're good. Now we're moving on to, that was the second one, now we're moving on to the third one, and it says now make a sign which says click me for, click for, then on the next line, an intro, once the once click display an intro in green as a title on the screen. So first we're going to need to do click for, an intro, then Highlight that text to make it light green because I like light green better. Highlight that text light green. Then for this, you have to go over here, go to title, and then put an intro exclamation point. I made these extremely exactly what it says, so not to confuse. An intro. Leave it like that. Generate the sign. Copy it right here. Paste it into the command block. Get this out. Place it. Click for an intro. And it says an intro on the screen. And that is exactly how it should be. So those are all the questions. There's one extra one. This is a bonus, and I'm going to go over that right now. The bonus question is a little harder because I didn't really cover it too much in the chapter. But it says, now make a sign that says click for, and then in the next sign, click another sign. Then once clicked, it changes to a sign called that says another sign. So first off, what you want to do is you want to highlight all that text, delete it, make a sign that says another sign, exclamation point delete this, 
then click generate the command. Now you're going to see this. So you're going to copy the block data one, then go back over here, change this and make it click for then another sign, then in here paste it and I put in the note to, since I didn't go over it, put in the note, delete the one right there, then uh, generate the sign, get the slash give can command and it's a much longer code, place down this sign and it says click for another sign, right click it and it changes the first line to another sign. And this is something you also have to note, it says another sign and then it says another sign as well and why it does that is it's all it's doing is changing the first line if you wanted to get rid of all the text which I didn't specify so I just left it the way it was you'd have to do click for another sign then on the next lines you hit enter 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 so the command knows that that's what you want to do so when you generate this command it gives you the different lines and whatnot but that's not really important. All I wanted to stress is the how you can right click it and it can update the block data. And I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all later.